Simmons is owned by Experian, which is taking a very active role in set-top box data analysis. Can you talk a little bit about this on a top level? Sure, high level. Uh, Simmons, um, Simmons was acquired by Experian in 2004. And um, Experian uh, is, is very involved in the, uh, in the addressable trials. That's uh, run out of a different, uh, different division of, of, of Experian. And uh, Experian data is also used with a number of partners to um, color, so to speak, set-top box, set box data. Uh, so Experian is involved um, with those partners, and Simmons itself is also working with a, uh, with a partner uh, to leverage the Simmons data specifically uh, in a number of their deliverables. Again, to, to dimensionalize the information that's being collected uh, in set-top box households. Ellen, can you talk about Simmons' um, activities with set-top box data? Sure. Um, you might have uh, you might have um, heard at a recent um, ARF um, conference uh, that Simmons and Rentrack are working uh, are working together, and um, Rentrack taps into the Simmons uh, data to uh, and uses that information to help dimensionalize and profile their set-top box uh, files. So tapping into the brand usage information, the psychographics, and attitudinal data from Simmons. They have created um, an integration of, of, the, um, of the data sets. And Rentrack is, is marketing that with, uh, within their deliverables. Ellen, can you give me three predictions for the next five years? Three predictions, okay. Uh, don't don't hold me to it, but um, first prediction, uh, I think as I said before, uh, we, Simmons had seen a uh, tremendous appetite for, for uh, consumer behavior information that, um, that is, that is uh, much more rapid insight. And also, uh, you know, providing that insight um, with, in a unique way, the breadth and depth uh, in a way that, um, you know, Experience Simmons can deliver. So I think uh, we're going to continue to see a demand for real-time consumer insight or near real-time consumer insight. And that's not going to go away. And I think it puts, uh, you know, I think it puts it, 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 it's, it's demand that syndicated research companies such as Simmons have to figure out, you know, how, how do you address that demand? Uh, we, we, we took the steps in the right direction, certainly, with, uh, with data stream. And I think what follows after that is, is potentially a demand. So now if we have this, this near real-time insight, all this, all this information coming in on the consumer right now, how can we leverage that in a go-forward or predictive capability? So I think you'll see, uh, again, demand for real time and then an, um, an increasing appetite for um, forecasting or predictive insight. The second one is, um, without a doubt, cross-platform. Cross-platform uh, cross measurement needs to, uh, needs to quickly evolve so we can better understand uh, consumer behaviors. Uh, needs to, the measures need to be uh, consistent across, uh, across platforms. They need, I think I mentioned this before, they need to be, uh, I think we'll see, hopefully we'll see them become scalable and, and cost effective. So we need to figure out very, very quickly how do we get the, uh, the measurement tools in place to, to measure this rapidly evolving consumer, consumer environment. And, and I think we'll see companies, we certainly have initiatives on our plate uh, where we're focused in this area. How can we set up a foundation that, um, that also can uh, accommodate uh, the emerging platforms of tomorrow? We, we know the world today. We know the, the technologies that are out in the marketplace, but who's to say that new devices, new platforms will not continue uh, to evolve? So. Our measurement, um, I think measurement systems will, will have to very quickly get up to speed on, on, the, uh, on the research side. Another, uh, another prediction, uh, I'm trying to decide, I, I, you know, I, I have a couple, that uh, between the mobile marketplace and, 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 and addressable, addressable media, and maybe I'll, I'll talk about them uh, in, in, in combination. 
new technology and devices have enabled market will enable marketers to uh, more so than ever uh, engage in one-to-one -one marketing. That's where I think that's where the industry is going. And how do we, you know, how do we, how do we figure out how, you know, working around the privacy uh, constraints? Uh, I, I think we're going to see more creative tools and options come into the marketplace that um, will allow will will allow brand marketers to engage in a one-to-one -one dialogue with uh, with consumers. And I think that also means going. Uh, I'll use the term hi hyper local. You know, literally being able to, uh, especially with, mo with mobile devices, being able to download a message uh, as a consumer is is passing a grocery store or you know enabling um, you know a, a message depending upon uh, the time, the mood, uh, you know the location that they're in. So I just I just think we're going to see these technologies uh, create some very interesting opportunities.